History of Russia in 100 Minutes by Smart Histories. Palace Revolutions. In the 18th century, the period between the reigns of Peter the Great and Catherine the Great was known as the era of palace revolutions. During that second time of troubles, Russia was mostly ruled by women, and power was often seized by force. Background. Before Peter the Great died in 1725, he had changed the rule of succession so that every succeeding ruler, individually, had to name an heir. Peter himself died before doing so. What followed was disorder and a power struggle between the old boyar families and the new nobility. Over the next 40 years, the ascension of rulers was mostly decided by the support of the imperial guards. Without their backing, rulers had little chance of staying on the throne. Catherine I and Peter II. In 1725, Peter the Great's wife, Catherine I, seized power and ruled for two years. Catherine had a secret alliance with Peter's right-hand man, Alexander Menchikov, and she kindly delegated all duties of governing to him and to the newly established Supreme Privy Council. She was followed on throne by Peter's grandson, Peter II. His three years of rule were best characterized by his carefree lifestyle and the influence of old boyar families. Anna Evnonovna and Ivan VI, following the young Peter II's death of smallpox on his wedding day in 1730, Anna Evnonovna became ruler. She was the daughter of Peter the Great's half-brother and former co-ruler, Ivan V. Anna disbanded the Supreme Privy Council, who tried to restrict her power, and invited her Baltic German ally, Ernst von Biron, to handle state matters. Von Biron's corruption and the luxurious lifestyle of his German court angered people a great deal. Anna had no children, and in 1740, she left the throne to her sister's two-month-old grandson, Ivan VI. Her mother, Anna Leopoldovna, declared herself regent and ruled with little support from the nobility. Elizabeth. The opportunity was seized by Peter the Great's daughter, Elizabeth. She and the Imperial Guard arrested Anna Leopoldovna and her baby. The Baltic Germans were chased away and Elizabeth was crowned empress. Her 21-year reign was successful. She continued Peter the Great's reforms and carried out wise policy in Europe's conflicts, especially in the Seven Years' War. Moreover, with allegedly 15,000 dresses in her personal wardrobe, Elizabeth's court was by no means inferior to that of Louis XV of France. Thank you for watching. For thousands of helpful resources of Russian history, please visit our website at smarthistories.com.